I just started the camera. Why are you popping? It's not a biscuit. <laughs> He's just trying to eat the camera. Hi guys, we just got back from a buttload of errands. We went to, and we did get them all done. It actually, we did it across a two day span. Yesterday we went to Marshall slash Home Goods and then Target. And then we went out to dinner because we were exhausted. And then, oh, see, can't you see mommy's vlogging? What time is it? Is his dinner time? You got an hour, okay, little guy, an hour. Uh, and then today we went to BJ's, which is like the East Coast version of Costco. Except they take all credit cards. <laughs> um, and then we went to Whole Foods, little and we buddy. got a lot of stuff between. What are you doing, Wolfie? Get out my vlog. <laughs> Actually, this is more of a haul. Uh, yeah, so I thought I would share a haul with you guys and show you what you can get at BJ's and Costco. We spent 120 at Whole Foods and, what, 200 and something at BJ's? Uh. And we wouldn't usually spend that much at BJ's, but the house sort of needed to be restocked. We have to restock, like, every couple of months on things like toilet paper. And then um, I had to get myself a printer and ink. That's obviously not a normal thing to do. Yeah, and the ink's more than a printer. Yes. So, at Whole Foods, we got, oh, a dog stuck in the bag. We got our mixed greens and corn tortillas. There isn't very many options for tortillas out here. We're used to the West Coast and having lots of options for food like that. But out here, it's limited. Some taco seasoning, because I'm gonna put some stew beef into the crock pot tonight, which turns out to be this awesome shredded beef that I make my own burrito bowls inspired by Whole Foods and tacos. And then I got pico de gallo because I'm uh, lazy. Chipotle. Huh? I thought that was inspired by Chipotle. Oh, who did I say it was inspired by? Whole Foods? Oh yeah, not inspired by Whole Foods. I got the ingredients from Whole Foods. It's inspired by Chipotle. Um, and then we got some buttermilk pancakes. He just licked it. <laughs> Put on. Like get out my haul. You guys are just ruckus. Yeah. This is a ruckus haul. That's yeah. what we're going to call it. And then that's the ground beef I got. And then in here um, is chicken and then the stew beef. And here are eggs, which are local, which we always try to do. Three Some hand sanitizer for my office. The Simply Art office. If you're not subscribed to that channel, check it out. And then um, some hand sanitizer spray for my purse because I'm running out of my other one. Oh, and then we went to Earth Fair. I totally forgot. This was a deal. $5 got you these five items, which was awesome. Um, so I got organic crackers, organic peanut butter sauce, peanut butter sauce, organic peanut butter, um, organic cookies, organic jelly, and um, organic applesauce with cinnamon and all for $5, which was really awesome. And that was a coupon that was emailed to me and that's Earth Fair, another store out here that we didn't have in California. So coming over here, we have an Annie's Homegrown Rising Crest Organic Pizza, which we've never tried before, decided to try. We had a coupon for this gluten-free cinnamon raisin bread, which we also haven't tried, but we're excited. And I don't usually get this brand of tater puffs, but the brand um, that I do get, that's what they call it, tater puffs. Yeah. Um, the ones that I get are potato poofs from, do you, what's the name of the brand? Alexia. Alexia, and it's potato puffs. And they're my favorite, but they don't have it um, at this Whole Foods, so I got these instead. The berries were um, two for five. They're not organic. Um, I got my favorite English muffins and some cream cheese spread. We had to restock on our liquid aminos, part of the GMO free project and our Uncle Matt's organic orange juice. 
and again limited on the tortillas but we got these um, non-gmo uh, wheat tortillas and I got two of those and then this is what I call my sweet treat I have to get it every time I go to Whole Foods I just love it so much even though it's so expensive and this is their smoked mozzarella pasta love it dearly and then a sour cream and then back to BJ's sorry this is all confusing this is Whole Foods and BJ's so now we're back to BJ's everything else was at Whole Foods and then that one bag was Earth Fair I got um, Apple Go Applegate bacon a big old thing of Tabasco because uh, that's how we roll I got limes which um, I use mostly for my tone it up drink I love their little morning cocktail thingy and um, some guacamole some Cracker Barrel cheese, some um, organic maple syrup. There was that ink I was talking about for my printer that Brian was saying was really expensive. Some potatoes, um, Morning Star sausage. Um, totally not good for me, but I eat it anyway because <laughs> I love it. And um, whole black pepper. I have a really sweet cousin that gave me a recipe to make my own and I've been too lazy to do it and I really need to try to make my own breakfast sausage meatless breakfast sausage so that is my haul all over the kitchen floor and I'm gonna put it away and get the meat started in uh, the crock pot and then of course also at Whole Foods have to get my free magazine so I have an edible Charlotte a local magazine which is fantastic and then I've never looked at these other two magazines Natural Awakenings, and today's Women, Woman Charlotte, and Luxury Home. So those three I haven't seen, but I'm going to check those out. So I'm going to put my food away, and uh, my poor little poodle here is going to have to wait another hour until he gets fed. And hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing what you can get at Whole Foods and BJ's. I'll see you in my next vlog. Cheers. Mimi.